Okay, let's see now. We are gonna be playing Octopath Traveler 2. If you're new to the series, Octopath Traveler, even though it has the number 2 in its name, you don't necessarily have to play the first game. The storyline has nothing related with the first game. Octopath Traveler 2 takes place after the... whatever happened after Octopath Traveler 1, at least I am assuming. Let's just jump right into it and begin, alright? We're gonna keep the text English, the voices will also be English, and let's adjust the brightness. Just did here. Alright then. And here we are. Welcome to Octopath Traveler 2. And huh? no, I don't want to reserve from the demo version. Because I want to start a brand new. But right before we begin, let me actually fix up the volume here. Uh Okay, I think this should be good. The first time I played the first Octopath Traveler game, I didn't know anything a lot about JRPG game. When I first played the first game, I was so like mesmerized by just the graphic, traditional JRPG game, yet it felt something so fresh and new at the same nice. time. And just like in the first game, we're allowed to pick eight different characters. I'm not sure if Hikari can play the same way as Obrick because he's a warrior. Out of the class, they have the highest physical strength and possibly the highest physical defense as well. If you want to get into the combat and just start as strong, I would suggest you to play the warrior. Your name is Cassidy Lorenz, and you are Apocryph- Apocryph- Apocryphy. The only clues to your identity are your satchel and skill as an Apocryph- Apocryph- Blah. This character has like an amnesia which makes it very interesting because story-wise, it kind of keep you glued to your seat exactly like why did she lost her memory? As you play the merchant, just like in the previous Octopath Traveler game, you can like make money very quick if you play this character. So if you're worried about money issue, I would recommend you to play this character first. The main thing about dancers is that they use this magic to attack enemies and the previous game, the dancer class named Primrose, she actually had a much more darker story than Agnia here. In that game, Primrose, she knew how to use dark magic, and she also can learn, like, ability and spells that actually helps you to boost your ally's stat. In this game, the enemy you face is have multiple weak points. Scarlet class is so very good at this because it helps you to know your enemy's weak point at the start of the battle. Fun little fact about this character, the voice actor behind Osborne, it actually happened to be a VTuber. This character is voiced by none other than Sayu VTuber. My chest is kind of like running out of breath and it's almost like 30 minutes in the stream and we haven't started playing the game yet but that is your basically typical main healers in this game whoa now this is pretty dark and pretty interesting mostly they focus on physical attack and what's cool about thief is that they can steal stuff and you can even steal items from enemies during battle too can i just say that this character did have a waifu material already like i mean kind of she's a very uh pretty woman per se and attractive the hunter they do a lot even if the hunter themselves cannot learn magic, if they capture a creature, some creature can use magic attack. The hunter is basically kind of like a jack of all trade in a sense. If I pick Osborne here, that be will stuck with him until the end of chapter 2. I'm not sure which it is. It reminds me of a certain anime like Masamune Revenge, Rising of the Shield here because of your pick with Osborne. There's a lot of media with similar revenge story. The only difference is that how to make that character revenge story interesting, you know what I'm saying? Let us proceed. Alright, what kind of story he All is. things in this world have a source. I just listened to his voice just now. Oh my god. He really is Sayu. That is the voice of Sayu. Anyway, I'm getting off distracted. Nothing begets nothing. Follow the chain of cause and effect. And it will lead you to the answer you seek. Sound poetic. And we're at a trial. For the record, you, Oswald, plead not guilty. Is that correct? We are not guilty, man. Matter of fact, I don't even know what the crime that we just committed or what we accused of. However, there is one last inexplicable detail. What could that be? Nothing one could reasonably consider the cause of the conflagration was found at the scene. So you're saying that nobody found the cause of the fire that killed Osborne's wife and child. And yet you're accusing Osborne here. If only we have Phoenix Wright as defense attorney, then maybe we have a better higher chance of winning. Ergo, the fire ought not to have happened at all. Absent the use of magic, that is. You were a scholar of magic. Weren't you, Oswald? Bridget Isles. Gee, I wonder why it's why that Isles sound like that. Does that mean that island is frigid with ice and snow? I highly doubt it, but we'll see. Do you have any last words? Yes, I do. Why do you look like the judge from Ace Attorney series? Well, that's our trial. Five years later.
In its 80 year history, none have escaped. So is that mean like at the 89th year, somebody did escape? Does that mean that it is possible to escape from this prison? I have survived for 1,879 days, but neither the unforgiving climate nor the ravages of time shall extinguish the fire in my breast. This guy is serious on the revenge plot. Survive for like almost 1900 days. Gee, this guy could survive a lot longer than Deacon and St. John from days gone. At night, Oswald can mug townspeople for their baloney. There's now a day and night cycle, and depending if it's daytime or nighttime, your path action changes a bit. Mug townspeople townspeople for their baloney. Obtain spoil from besting them in battle, alright? And we level up. Nice. Take it back. I've got no use for your filthy scribblings anyhow. Help, guards. He's gonna kill me. Mind scum. Keep those hands moving. I thought we hear the warrior. Uh, get up, air hog. Or rise, germ sacks. Germ sacks. Yeah, I guess not. Warden, sir, is already dead. Oh, snap. He's dead? He's already dead? Holy crap. Uh, wow. That is not good. An unfortunately common sight. Ah, it looks like there's a little town inside the prison. The first, an escape route. Let's talk around with some people. We have heart. Hey, muzzle mouth, wipe that smug look off your face. What do you mean? Smug face. I can't even make a smug smile. How can you tell I make a smug face under my muzzle? Get lost. Man, muzzle mouth. It looks like that's our nickname here in this prison. Muzzle mouth. Prisoner number 304916. Crime, human trafficking. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Prisoner is extremely violent. Former human trafficking victim turned human trafficker. Wow, that's even worse. I don't believe this prisoner knows anything. If I ever make it out of here, I want to open my own bookstore. Oh, that's kind of sound like a nice goal. Prison number 293533. Sent this 98 years? Uh, okay, yeah, this guy have no chance of becoming a bookstore keeper. No offense. Prisoners. Number 291056. Warden Davis dropped his coin purse the other day, and this prisoner watched as Bale picked it up. He doesn't dare tell his sword though, as Bear know his weakness. This is the right guy there. Got some little information about Bear's weakness. I wonder what it is. Maybe it's something about an embarrassing Christmas photo. Finally come to pay, have you? Uh, what's that scrap of paper in your hand? What? In... Where did you get this? What? Whatever you want, it's yours. Just swear you won't speak a word of this to anyone. Oh my god, I guess I was right. It is an embarrassing Christmas photo. Hey, Professor, you're looking a little gloomy today. What's the matter? Ga ha ha This guy's kind of a little weird. <laughs> 209 years? Jeez. Wow. Um. Uh, you filth. Don't think you can escape this place. Ah! In the Like there's more rats where these came from. Flames, reduce this wall to ash. Whoa, smoking. We have to go now. And that's the end of chapter one. Wow, what a great beginning of the game. And hopefully we can allow to save too. Maybe not. I should be getting back. Can we actually save the game first? Is it safe automatically for us? This should be safe automatically for us. Ooh. Whoa, now that's a quite of a no. Oh man, this this is kinda sad. Harvey, you bastard! <laughs> Ever since that day, a fire is burned within my breast. Uh I'm alive. Fine. Yeah, we're fine, man. There's light up ahead. Let's go. So guys, how was it? What do you think of Octopath Traveler 2 so far? I'm pretty excited to play more of this for now. That'll be it for today. Please consider hitting that like and subscribe button to see more of Octopath Traveler 2. Hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I go live or upload brand new video in short. I hope that you enjoy your rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you guys are. And stay safe out there. Thank you for coming guys. C plus hero, signing out.